What's up, Nod Squad? Now, when I started this channel, I wanted a place that I could have a little more free range in what I post and to have a platform where I can post things other than police stuff. After the last video I posted, it was been brought to my attention that I might be acting a little too juvenile. And I'm here to tell you guys that the days of me acting like a little kid on this channel are over. Just kidding. Fart dance for the haters. Hey yo, this is dirty. What's up guys, today I'm rocking the Thing One mug, got it from Universal Studios when I took the fam. <laughs> it's only flying. <laughs> Not a paid endorsement. Today I wanted to kind of do like an update video, had a lot of questions on the last duty belt video linked down below. A couple corrections from last week's video. Correction. Yes, I know it's spelled Donning, D-O-N-N-I-N-G, not <laughs> I messed up, my bad, I'm owning it, me, I'm the guy. You ever heard of spell check? <laughs> and second correction, when referring to the taser I was carrying, I called it an X-29. Uh, this taser is the X-29. And as soon as I posted that video and made it go live, I got a phone call from a good friend of mine, Tactical Tommy, over in the training unit. Hello. Oh, hey, Nick. Hey, Tommy, what's up? Hey, buddy, what's going on? Now, I was just wondering, what in the world is an X-29? It's a uh, taser. No? Now, I think you need to take off 27 of those X's, because it's actually called an X-2. Oh. Now, go on, make a correction in the comments. Let them know it's your bad. Yeah, my bad. All right, man, other than that, I love the video. All right, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate the heads up. So there are some comments that I am going to talk about today in this video. So without further ado, here they are. This one I actually responded to, but shortly after my response, it was deleted for some reason. The comment went something like this. Hmm, nice video, but don't you think you're giving up too much information about the holsters to the bad guys? This holster, I'm trying it out. It's a Black Hawk holster. I personally am probably gonna go back to the Safari Land holster. I really don't like anything that has a mechanism that I have to rely on. Unfortunately, in this day and age, just about anybody can Google a how to remove a gun from a holster and it will come up. If you need level three retention and demand a quick natural draw, there is no finer choice than the Circle Level Three Auto Lock Duty Holster. Its three point locking system enables smooth, intuitive deployment. The first level of retention is a detent screw that provides adjustable tension on the trigger guard. Second, its patented auto lock technology secures your firearm in place, releasing it when your trigger finger is indexed along the slide during the draw cycle and the button is depressed. So although I'm a huge fan of officer safety, in this case, there's a lot of information that's already out there and I'm just trying to give a vague explanation on to why I didn't like the holster. Another question that was asked, so Nick, you only carry one set of cuffs? Yes, yes I do. A couple questions were asked about the tack vest and if I could carry equipment on the tack vest and if I can actually wear a tack vest out on patrol. So I decided to bring out my tack vest. This vest is made by Point Blank. You guys can see on the inside, it's where you slide in your body armor. I have happen to have a stop plate up in the front it's for uh, extra protection. Now, as you guys can see on the vest, there are some loops, and this is where you would attach um, equipment. A lot of you guys were saying, man, that's a lot of stuff that you have on your belt. Um, shouldn't you put some of that stuff on your vest? Well, some departments don't allow you to wear a tag vest while on patrol. You're left with wearing that equipment 
along your waist. Um, if you're in a tactical unit, such as tactical robbery, uh, you can wear one of these vests, PST, you're allowed to wear this vest while you're out there working, but on patrol, uh, they prefer you to wear the vest underneath your uniform, it looks a little more professional. Hmm. Video idea. How to set up your tack vest. Let me know. Comments below. And lastly, you guys might have noticed that I always like to drink coffee while I'm vlogging. And some of you guys asked me, hey Nick, what kind of coffee do you drink? That simple. Yes, I like to drink the Café Bilon Espresso. That's right, yes. Another video idea. How to make the Cuban coffee. Yes. And the last thing I want to talk about is where is this channel going? Which direction are we going in? Are we just going to be talking about police stuff? Is it just going to be doing tactical reviews? Where is the airsoft vlog? Yes, there's a lot of stuff. I'm very excited on where to take this channel. I want to do all that stuff mentioned. I also want to do some vlogs. I want to go out with officers and see what they do on their off-duty time. I want to make connections with you guys, meetups, and I definitely want to play some LSPDFR. Ace, talking to you. It's endless. There's nothing we can't do. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below, click that subscribe button, put on the little bell to notifications, let you know that we're posting on the channel. If you like what you see, give a thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, just don't do anything. Just, just don't touch anything. And with that being said, you guys know the Nod Squad sign off. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you.